morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Julie Brown. She's one of the 4-H agents right here in Warren County. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Julie, you are going to solve all of our summertime blues I right am. here in I January. Am. It's hard to think about summer right now, but you guys have been thinking about summer camp for a long time. Since last summer camp. <laughs> It's never ending, but look at all the fun stuff. Do you have all this fun at 4-H We do. Camp? You know, um, as a 4-H agent, some of us love us, some of us hate camp, and 4-H camp is one of the things that I truly do love to do. I love being there with the kids, you know, having a good time and enjoying the summer. Um, that's one of the things that I enjoy doing as part of my summer. Yeah. Now, everybody goes to camp. All the counties go to yes. camp, but Warren County has a specific week that they yes, go. Yes, so each county has their specific week. So Warren County's specific week is July the 23rd through the 26th. Okay. Um, so if you're from a different county watching, just call your local extension office and they can tell you what week um, that they are going to camp. Same thing with the cost. Um, so the camp is open in all counties for 9 to 15 year olds. Okay. Um, but the cost for Warren County is $230. Um, but call your current local office and they'll tell you their exact weeks and how much the cost is because that varies a little bit from county yeah, to county. Transportation costs. Transportation, all kinds of, yeah, mm -hmm. um, maybe a little additional add-ins that they may do that we don't do those types of things. Okay, so, but are you guys taking reservations now for camp? If you are wanting to go to camp, we can get you a camp application. Um, as you know, we've talked about earlier this week, you know, we're in the process of moving, so we're really waiting till March to start when we're settled in our new office on Russell Road, mm -hmm. um, but if you're wanting to go ahead and get your kids started or if you want to start a payment plan because $230, no offense, I have one that's going... You know, it's a little like, steep, you know, especially if you have to pay that one time. You know, we can start a payment plan for you. You know, if you want to do $50 a month or something like that, you know, we can go ahead and get that started for you if you want to, you know, go ahead and contact us. But $230 for the experience these kids yes. are going to have so, is a bargain. So tell me all what you guys get to do. So, you know, when they get to camp, you know, they're going to need a sleeping bag or a bed roll because they will be taking care of themselves for the week. Obviously, we have lots of adults and teens in the cabin with them, but this may be some of their first time away from home experience, mm -hmm. whether they're nine years old or they're 15 years old. We, I've had them both, you know, being the first time away from mom and dad. A little homesick, huh? A little homesick, <laughs> but that's okay. So they'll need a bed roll. Um, we'll have different types of sport activities, you know, whether it's basketball, gaga ball is a big thing. I know so, even some of our elementary schools have gaga pits. I don't know what this is. And they're, um, <laughs> it's where you bat around a ball and you try to get it to stay below your um, waist or down and oh. you don't want it to touch you. Just get, ask, your kids, ask your kids, they'll tell you what it is. <laughs> so, um, you know, we have a swimming pool with a water slide, diving board, those types of things. Even, um, so you'll definitely need a beach towel and some sunscreen along the way. Yeah, bug spray, I see bug you spray. have that. <laughs> you know, we offer nature courses, we offer, you know, rifle, shooting, trap, archery. So those it's not of, all just recreational activities, no. there's educational yes, things. Yes, there's cooking things and some cooking classes, you know, we do GPS, we do nature classes. We do craft classes, so it's a little bit of whatever, you know, you, the child might be interested in. And now, something new we're doing okay. this year with classes um, is they won't have to take off, they'll do four classes, and they won't have to do all four classes, keep repeating them every day. So if they're a past camper, you know, used to they would take cooking and they would take cooking for four days. Well, now they're going to take cooking, and if they decide, you know what, cooking really isn't for me, I want to do basketball, then the next day they can switch and do basketball instead of cooking. Oh, so they can experience more because the thing about it is you guys offer so many activities. Yes. I mean, from archery to, I think Janet was here earlier this week talking about horses. You guys yeah. offer something with oh, that Oh, yeah, we too. do have horse classes. So, you know, the kids can either ride horses with the new tracks that we're doing this year. They can actually get to ride horses or if they don't want to ride horses but they want to learn more information about horses, there will be a class just for that as well. Yeah, so a lot of learning activities, some recreational activities, and then there's a cafeteria there, and you guys do fun evening activities, activities as too. well. So in the evening activities, we'll do some water, because obviously we're going in July. It's probably going to be nice <laughs> and warm. Um, so we'll do some water activities at night. We have a water slide. We, this year we'll also have a bubble slide oh. um, that the kids will get to participate in. Then we'll do like field games. But you know, if you're a parent and you're like, mm, I think that'd be a good experience for my kids, but I'm not quite sure if they should go out on their own, guess what? We take adult volunteers. Ah, uh, that's right. So um, if you do volunteer, you know, adults are free. And if you have a child that's going, we'll do half price on their um, really? reservations oh, to go awesome. to camp. So that's something to think about, you know, if you're interested. Even if you're, like with me, I have a son that's going to camp. We can still do a mother-son. Obviously, the son will be on his side of camp. 
mom will be on the girl side of camp, but you'll see them, you know, throughout the day. You just won't be in there with them at night. All right. So if people are interested in chaperoning, signing up, they can contact you because I'm sure they have to go through a process if yes. they want to volunteer. Yes. All right. So great information. Go ahead and mark your calendars if you're interested in going with Janet and Julie to 4-H camp. They always come back and have so much fun. I would be exhausted, but that's why they're 4-H <laughs> agents. We appreciate you watching and hope you have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.